We're going to take this tree down here. I would like it to go a little more to the right. Maybe over by that John Deere tractor. Ah, that's a sweet machine. So what I will do is face cut it in here, in this area. And I will leave a little more meat on the hinge on this side. Because it's, it's really pulling back this way quite a bit. But I'll make my face cut. I'm going to cut. I might use a wedge or two. Let's see. And then a back cut. And we'll try to get it to steer over, over this way. So, let's see what happens. Face cut and cut down at a what is that? Probably like a 45. Yeah, 45. I oh, mean, and uh, about a third what? About a third into the tree. I'd say a third of the okay distance into the tree. Yeah. And then I came straight in here to join up with that the Flat. stop mm -hmm. of this cut. Right. And you don't want to have a, a huge cut in. You want them to, to line up pretty symmetrical. There's a lot of different ways to do that. You could come up like this and then come straight in. Um, not sure the name of that. It's more of a Pac-Man style where you, you come like this and you come down like that. I've done probably, Oh, 1,500 of these in the last two years, and I have another 7,000 to go. So, <clears throat> and then I need to get them done in the next two to three years. So, I'm learning every day. Math. You want to come straight in. You want to come straight in on your back cut. about four four inches on this side okay mm -hmm. and I want the, the hinge to be more more pulling this way pulling the tree this way than that way the tree's leaning that way but not a ton so I'll cut a little bit more I'll throw a wedge in it I'm just gonna go around the whole tree here go around the whole tree go around the whole tree so you got a pretty big amount of meat here still, right? Yep. That's not cut there, I just pulled the bark off. You can see, you know, still has quite a, quite a bit there, four inches. Okay, cool. If you want to check, see where you're at, you know, I'm about a whole two and a half, three inches from the face cut. Okay, so I need to make sure I have escape routes. About a 45 degree angle from away from the, the way the trees fall in. I don't recommend running straight behind the tree because if it falls a certain way or hits a stop or it can spring straight backwards at you. And, uh, a lot of guys get hurt that way.
What's going on now? So we fell, it went good, it went right towards the tractor, so that's where we wanted it. It was leaning hard this way, back this way. Made the face cut, started making the back cut, got real close to the, the hinge here, I took a lot of the hinge out and left a lot of meat here, and that steered the tree from going like this. Like that, so kind of like this, and as it fell, it brought it back over here. So, and sometimes they break off right there, and they don't do anything like you want them to. Um, but you always have to have your escape routes, and and this one did exactly what it was supposed to. So I got lucky. Thanks for watching.